The new study is looking at the impacts of infertility on men, so trying to capture men's experiences of diagnosis, treatment, how infertility might impact on their relationships, both their partners but also their friends, to really try and understand what matters to men and what they found challenging or positive when they've been going through the experience of infertility. It's really important that we capture the views of men around infertility because they're often overlooked and previous research has suggested that men's experiences are often not captured and that in the focusing on women as the site of reproductive treatment, men often feel marginalised or that their views are not being put across. So it's really important that we understand what matters to men when they're going through fertility issues so that we can think more about what information or advice or support men might need so they can support themselves but also their partners in what can be a difficult time. The survey is online and men can go on at any time and complete the survey. It's a series of open questions and we're asking men to write as much as or as little as they want for each question to give them flexibility to share their experiences in as much depth as they feel comfortable in doing so. The survey is also anonymous so no one will know um, who's taken part so hopefully that'll give men a really safe space in which they can share what really matters to them. The survey is being conducted in partnership with Fertility Network UK, the leading fertility charity in the UK. And so we'll use the findings from the survey as part of Fertility Awareness Week, which is at the end of October and the start of November. Um, and we'll present the findings then um, and share what men have contributed in that survey and hopefully use that as a way of generating um, more information and support for men in relation to fertility issues. My previous research has looked at how men use online support forums in relation to infertility, so how men seek help from other men who are going through the experience of infertility, how they talk about their emotions, and also how they talk about the challenges within their relationships in what can be a really trying time for couples. And the research has found that infertility can be a really emotional experience for men, they can be really distressed by it, and they can feel quite isolated by it. So it's really important that we try and get the support for men just right in relation to infertility and hopefully this survey will help us contribute to working on that support.